this demonstration we're going to look at implementing role-based administration. I've come to my System Center Configuration Manager Admin Console and what we're going to do here is we're going to set up some delegated permissions. And we're going to do that by coming to the Administration Workspace and within the Administration Workspace what we're going to do is we're going to come to our Security Node. And within our security node, as we can see, we've got some admin users, security roles, security scopes, accounts, and we've also got certificates within here as well. So what we're going to have a look at here, if we just have a look at the admin users, what we have below the admin users is we have currently, my only admin user is administrator. If we look at security roles, we can see the 15 built-in security roles that we get within System Center Configuration Manager. Security scopes, so at this point here, we've got the all and we've got the default. Then we've got accounts, and below accounts at this point here, we've got the administrator account and my client install account. And finally, the certificates, what we can see here is we can see the certificates in place as well. So let's just go back to security roles. So if we just have a look to start with, if we just look at our operations administrator, and we'll do that by just double clicking and having a look at the properties. What we get within here on the general page, we get some information. So if you're an operations administrator, as it says here, grants permissions for all actions in Config Manager, except for the permissions that are required to manage security, which include managing admin users, security roles, and security scopes. If we click on administrative users, currently nobody is a member of that role. And if we look at permissions, what we can see here in the case of the permissions, we can see there's quite a few of them. And depending on where we are currently in the list, we can see exactly what we can do based off the task on the left hand side. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll just click cancel. Next thing we'll do here is we'll create a security scope. So in order to do this we'll come to security scopes. As we can see here we've got all and we've got default. So again if we just have a look at one of the security scopes and double click. So this is a built in security scope that contains all securable objects. Config manager associate with all security scope will have the permissions of their role for every object in the config manager environment and this security scope cannot be changed or deleted. We wouldn't really want to add people to this scope of all so what we can do is we do have the ability to create our own. In order to create our own we just right click and we create a security scope. That brings us into wizards. We need to fill out some information relating to this security scope. So I'm creating the scope, I'm going to call it desktop administration, it's going to be scope for desktop related objects and currently admin assignment at this point here, well I've only got the one admin user currently, which is a date and backslash administrator, so at this point here we'll select OK. The next thing we need to do is we need to assign our securable objects to our security scopes. So what we're going to do here in the software library, we're just going to come to application management, and with an application management we'll expand this up. Uh, what we'll have a look for here is our applications. Uh, what we've got is we've got an application called XML Notepad 2007. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to right click and what we're going to do is we're just going to set our security scopes. This brings us into a little wizard that we just need to fill out. So what we're going to do here is we're going to sign desktop administration and we're going to remove the default. And then what we'll do at this point here is we'll select OK. Do a similar sort of thing under packages. So under packages, what we have here is we have our configuration manager client package. So again, we'll right click and again, we'll set security scopes. And then again, we'll go for desktop administration. And again, we'll clear default. Then what we'll do is we'll select OK. And we've now assigned uh, our security scope to the config manager client package as well. Next thing we need to do is add an admin user. So we'll come back to administration. Just within here we'll go for administrative users. And below administrative users we'll just right click and we'll add a user or a group. And then what we'll do here in the case of user or group name what we'll do is we'll just browse through. Uh, we're looking for a group called desktop admins. And we'll select OK. Sign security rules. So at this point here is we'll select add. And what we'll do here is we will add in operations administrator and select OK. And we'll just come down to um, assign security scopes and collections. So we'll select add, we'll go for security scope. And what we'll do is go for desktop administration 
and we'll select OK. Then we'll select that again. And what we'll do here is we'll go for collection. And in the case of the collection, what we'll do here is we'll go for, at this point here, click on drop down, just go for device collections. And what we'll do here is we'll go for our London clients. And we'll select OK. And then what we'll do is we'll go to the all systems and click remove. We'll go for all users and groups and select remove again and remove the default and select remove and we'll select OK. Now what we'll do is we'll just close down the uh, config manager console and then what we'll do is we'll just run this as a different user and what we'll do is we'll just log in as a user called Brad who's a member of the desktop admins group. And what we'll do is we'll just have a look through here. So if we look at devices, we can see LON CL1, notice no servers. If we look at device collections, we can see London clients, we can't see all systems, can't see any of the other devices. So what we've done here is Brad being a member of the desktop administrators group, we've set up a scope. And what we've done is we've applied permissions to Brad via a scope and an admin user assignment to certain objects within our inventory. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.